If you want to grow artichokes, you have come to the right place. I'm going to show you how to grow artichokes even if you live in a cold climate and you're going to get flowers the first year. First thing you want to do is get your artichoke seeds. I got mine from MI Gardener. I have Green Globe Artichoke. And it says on the back here, perennial zones 7 through 10. I'm in zone 5 and this is still going to work. And we're still going to make these perennial artichokes. And I'll explain that later in the video. If you like your gardening videos, right to the point, prove it by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. There's the plug, back to growing. Artichoke needs something that's called cold stratification. Long story short, all we're gonna do is take a paper towel, make it nice and moist, not too wet. We're gonna fold her up real nice, lay it down like so. We're gonna take our seeds. We're going to place them inside this moist paper towel. We're gonna take it, we're gonna fold it up. Then I got this nice Ziploc bag with a scary picture on it. I put the date that I'm starting these on the bag. Also the date I'm gonna take them out. These are gonna go into the fridge for two weeks. We're gonna seal it up about halfway, squeeze the air out, ready to go in the fridge. 35, that'll do. After two weeks in the fridge, you're going to sow your seeds just like you would a tomato or a pepper. We're going to plant them about a quarter inch deep. You can use cell trays. I use soil blocks. doesn't matter. But one of the things I like to do is take a cheap cooking pan. It comes with a clear lid. Put it over the top. And I'll take this and just toss her underneath my grow lights. What this does is make it real nice and warm inside here to help those seeds germinate. With the dome on, your seeds should germinate in less than 10 days. Get those grow lights really close to those new sprouts. And as soon as you see the second set of leaves coming in, it is time to transplant your artichokes because artichokes have a tap root. Whenever I have something with a tap root, my preferred method of potting up is using cheap solo cups. It gives the plant a lot of vertical space to send that tap root down. And this is going to be the final resting place of our artichokes until we take them outside. Despite what a lot of people say, you do not need to start these early. In zone 5, it is March 22nd. This is the perfect time for me to start my cold stratification process. It's going to give me good sized plants at the time I need to bring them outside. Which leads to the next important step with artichokes. You're going to want to put your artichokes outside a lot earlier than everything else. You see, artichokes are a perennial. So with a lot of perennials, they spend their first year growing and they don't flower till their second year. But when it comes to artichokes, we can trick the plant into flowering the first year. And how we do that is we plant them outside a little early. We want them to get exposed to cooler temperatures. It makes the plant think it's two instead of one. So for me starting this process now, about the end of April or so, I'm going to be able to take my artichokes and start hardening them off outside. And the hardening off process is gonna be going on when we have really cold temps outside. Pretty much getting the plant used to cold weather. So harden off just like everything else, just a little colder. Depending on how you do it, after three to seven days, your artichokes are gonna be ready to plant outside. And this part makes a lot of people nervous, especially around me. We could still get temperatures in the 20s, maybe even the teens this time of year. That's what you want. As long as you harden off your artichokes right in the cooler weather, once you plant it in the ground, these plants will be fine into the teens. I've seen it happen. Teens aren't ideal. Temperatures in the low 30s are better. These cold temperatures are what is going to trick that plant into thinking it's older than it is, so you get flowers this year. The name of this process is called vernalization. In simpler terms, it's called expose me to cold temperatures, and I'll think I'm older than I am and give you flowers the first year. Once I plant artichokes or pretty much anything, I like to give them a nice mulch. And this is around the time I start cutting my grass. One of my favorite mulches is grass clippings, fresh grass clippings. I just take them and I lightly coat them on top of the soil. This is gonna help retain moisture for those roots of the artichoke. Once this plant is in your garden, you really don't have to do much. Since it does have that tap root that's gonna go down deep, it doesn't need a ton of water. My garden's no-till, so I don't need any fertilizers. Pretty much just watch them grow. And as the season goes by, there's something you want to look for. Your plants are going to get really big and bushy and wide. They're going to look kind of like a thistle. But you want to watch for bolting. If you've done everything right, 
around late summer or so, you're going to see a big shoot come out of the center of the plant. And that's where your flowers and artichokes are going to appear. To be honest, I have never eaten these things. I just grow them for the flowers. And I like having perennials in my garden. So if you live somewhere really cold and you want your artichokes to come back year after year, just do a thick mulch, whether it's leaves, wood chips, put up some timber windbreaks. If it dies back, just chop your plant to the ground. And in the following spring, when it gets warm, just pull that mulch away and look for little shoots to come out right where you cut it off. And that means that the artichokes are coming back. So that is how you grow artichokes. Even if you live somewhere cold, you got the space and you want a cool perennial, give artichokes a shot. Let me know your thoughts about artichokes in the comments and thanks for watching.